you may have noticed a lot of different faces on the weekend set. I'm hand glappy, happy to announce that our final piece to the weekend news team is here. Corey Kessler joins us from CNN. Corey, welcome. Uh, thanks a lot, Jesse. You know, I grew up in New Orleans. I'm back in Louisiana, and there's no place I'd rather be than Lake Charles. So Great. let's get started with sports. All right. The Cowboys were in Beaumont this afternoon facing Lamar. Unfortunately, they lost both games of the doubleheader. Brandon Murray and Kelly Free took the losses for the Cowboys, and ace hitter Darren Hofstetter, who had a 15-game hitting streak for the Cowboys, did not get a hit today. So his McNeese record of hits in consecutive games ends at 15. The final scores, as you see, Lamar wins 5-4 to four and 4 to nothing. Well, to the Astros and the Mets, where Doug Drabeck got the best of Dwight Gooden, striking out three and allowing only eight hits. Here, top of the first, former Met Chris Donald off the wall, scores Luis Gonzalez, and it's 3 nothing Astros. To the bottom of the second, Vince Coleman says, uh-uh-uh, not so quick, Astros. He doubles in Jeff Kent, and we're tied at three. Now, we go to the top of the fifth. Whose day was it? Luis Gonzalez. He had three RBIs. Boom, get out of here. That's a solo home run, and the Astros win it. Six to three. Well, there were sunny skies today for the third round of the Masters Golf Tournament, and the golfers made the best of it. There were some great chip shots and long birdies, including this one by Greg Norman on the 10. Look at that shot. Is it going to go? Keep rolling, keep rolling. Bingo, into the cup. He goes to 200. To the 15th now, Anders Forsbrand. Watch this shot. It's an approach. He's, he's not in the race, really. He's going to... You won't believe it. You won't believe it. Look at that shot. No, he's not in contention, but it falls. Now, we're still on the 15th. He takes a bow. Thank you very much. To the 15th as well, Scott Simpson with another chip. And guess what, folks? This one's going to drop as well. Unbelievable day must be due to the weather. To the ninth now, Jeff Maggard. This, guess what this is? Another chip out of the sand, not into the cup close enough. He would drop it to go at 7 under. Now, we're at the 11th, where 85 champion Bernhard Longer is going to hit an unbelievable chip for a birdie. Look at that roll on the green, through the shade, and bingo, to the bottom of the cup. He goes to 10 under. The leaders are now, as it stands, Longer at 9 under. Chip Beck and Dan Forsman are tied in second at 5 under. Well, it's time now for our plays of the week. And we've got some pretty interesting ones. Not all highlights, some lowlights as well. But I think you'll enjoy them. The ball goes away. He starts to move away. Ooh. Ooh. Will Purdue. Hello. It wasn't that bad, Will. That's a bit of an acting job, I think. Now, look at this guy, Jerry Stackhouse. Man, what a dunk that is. He's going to North Carolina. They should win another national championship. Now, it looks like an ordinary drag race, right? I don't think so. Look at Clory McClendon. He gets burned up, but you know he comes out of that without much harm. Just a couple uh, burns. Now look at Jordan. Is he good or what? Half court, doesn't matter. He can do whatever he wants. Now, Dale Jarrett, who is really upset because Bobby Hilland wiped him out early, throws his hat at him. Come on, now. You can't do that, Dale. Now, even a spring training foul ball is cause for excitement, right? A little more excitement. Hello. Uh, hello. Okay. It's only spring training. Relax now. Okay, UNLV's J.R. Wright. Look at this dunk. Oh, my. Between the legs. We gotta see that one again. If you can hear the audio, there's Dick Vitale saying, Oh, give him the trophy, baby! That's beautiful. Now, Michigan's Ray Jackson after losing the national championship, not too happy. I can understand, right? Now, Gary Player, look at this shot. During a practice round at the Masters, yeah, we saw shots just almost as good today when we showed our Masters VO. That looks comparable. Yes, it does. Now, can't beat opening day if it's not Ozzie Smith doing a flip. Oh, I tell you what, he's one of the nicest guys I ever met. I'll tell you what. Now, Warriors on the break. This is how you run a fast break. Tim Hardaway, Billy Owen, slam. Thank you very much. Now, Suns, Dan Marley, they're down by two points. Dan Marley, bingo. They win the game. Are they excited? I think they are. Now, Hornets mascot. Look at this dog. Takes the ball between his legs, over his head. For the slam. Sign that guy up. Now, last but not least, look at the Islanders. He goes right on his face. When 7 News at 6 returns, we'll take a look ahead at the stories we're working on for Nightcast. Thank you. Up to 58 kilometers, still no... On sale is fine during our spring savings sale. High quality, low prices, great service.
Billy Navarre is Southwest Louisiana's number one volume dealer. Plus, he's the largest Chevrolet dealer in all of Louisiana and Mississippi. That means we take in a huge selection of used cars and trucks and trade. How do we sell so many? With low volume prices. Choose from one owner, low mileage trucks, suburbans, luxury cars, low priced used cars for basic transportation. Even if you live 80 or 90 miles away for your next used car or truck, it's worth your trip to either of Billy Navarre's Chevy dealerships in Sulphur or Lake Charles. Bonnie, you're back. Yes, I am, and I'm glad to be back. Is the great weather going to continue into tomorrow, hopefully? Yes, the mild temperatures will continue. We will see some clouds and even some patchy fog as we look ahead for till tomorrow morning. We can see those clouds gathering as we get ready for the work week and for leaving the holiday weekend behind us. But we will have a mild temperature of 65 degrees and some patchy fog ahead for southwest Louisiana. If we take a look at our current satellite picture, we'll have terrific Easter clearing for most of the southern uh, Gulf States regions with some thunder showers over uh, some of western Tennessee and parts of southern Arkansas. But for the most part, a nice clearing over our area. Our temperatures are checking in with also very mild uh, amounts. We have 73 degrees in Brownsville and rather warm for cities like Jackson, Mississippi and Little Rock at 68 degrees with some really pleasant weather in other parts of our area as well. If we take a look at tomorrow morning's uh, forecast, well, we see a stationary front approaching us from the north, but lots of clouds covering our area, so you might want to give yourself a little extra time getting to work in the morning to start off the work week and drive with your low beam lights on. But by noon, those clouds will dissipate for the lunch hour, and we'll see some partly cloudy skies over southwest Louisiana. And the picture stays the same for the most part through 5 p.m. for the ride home. Again, we're going to have partly cloudy skies. By 10 p.m. tomorrow night, those clouds will increase. And later in the week, we will be seeing some thunder showers as well. So enjoy the uh, rain-free weather while you can for tomorrow. Well, our weather watchers want to wish everyone a very happy Easter. They all left messages regarding that, and we want to wish them one as well. Toy and Lake Arthur has 65 degrees, and Rodney Gilbo down in Constance Beach has 66 degrees. We take a look outside right now on Ryan Street, enjoying the Easter night. We can see lots of people are out and about. And our temperature, well, it's currently at 66 degrees. Humidity is at 90%. The barometric pressure is 29.94 and steady. Winds are out of the south at 8. And no precipitation recorded yet today. Our almanac shows us today we reached a high of 75 degrees. Our low got down to 59, which is fairly normal for this time of year. Well, taking a look at the national satellite picture, we'll see how things are shaping up all around the country. Some really wet weather in the northeast part of the country. And I should know I just got back from there and we had some very heavy rainfalls in the New York area but beautiful, gorgeous weather down in the southeastern part of the country. We take a look at our uh, pinpoint forecast for 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Patchy fog. Our low tomorrow will be 65 degrees. By noontime, partly cloudy skies. Temperature at 71. 5 p.m., we will still have some clouds, but we'll reach a high of 78 degrees, so really warm weather ahead for tomorrow. And 10 p.m., cloudy skies as well at 67 degrees with mild winds. So for the next four days, it looks like tomorrow it's really the best day to get out and enjoy things because we do have thunder showers and rain for Tuesday and Wednesday. We might see some sun later in the week, but it really shouldn't happen until Friday. Okay, well, when, when I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You had a good, good time at home? Yes. Family's wonderful. okay? Very nice. Okay, great. Glad you made it back safe. Thank you. All right. Still to come on Nightcast. Lawmakers in Baton Rouge continue to wrangle with the state's budget deficit. Political commentator John McGinnis offers his thoughts next. As the planting season gets later, your seedbed preparation options grow fewer. Tillage weed control takes up too much time. And weeds grow back with burn backs. So count on the roots and all control of Roundup Defact to kill many grasses and broadleaves. Even the tough ones like barnyard grass, seedling Johnson grass, mare's tail, and smartweed. This year, do it once. Do it right with Roundup Defact. Hey, what a first half, huh? Danny's yeah, amazing. State finals. You and Thomas, where is Tom? He had a, a crisis at work. Hey, Joni, listen, tell Tom that... Is he here? He had, um, car trouble. Is this right? Danny was wondering if his dad... Oh, I guess not. He's on his way. I'm going in, Mom. Thomas should be there. When you run out of excuses, Charter is here for you. If you don't get help at Charter, please get help somewhere. They come from a planet far, far away with big, bald, pointy heads. 
They're the Coneheads. I am Beldar from the planet Remulac. Saturday Night Live's Conehead family is coming to the big screen, and E.T. will take you behind the scenes. Prepare to die laughing. Then, if you want to hang out with the stars, you got to head down to South Beach, Florida. It's the country's newest, hippest hotspot, and we'll take you there on the next Entertainment Tonight. Monday at 6.30 on Seven at Your Service, KPLC. Seven at Your Service, KPLC and Market Basket present Spring Carnival 93, April 2nd through the 11th at Burton Coliseum. There are fun rides, games, and good food. Buy a ticket, get one free when you shop your nearby Lake Area Market Basket stores. Complete details are available in the stores. Spring Carnival presented by Market Basket and KPLC has many special events planned. $500 worth of free groceries will be given away every day. So come out to the Spring Carnival, April 2nd through the 11th at Burton Coliseum. After two special sessions and a few weeks of the regular session, the Bayou State is still without a balanced budget. But the cure for our $600 million ailment is a combination of cuts and revenue-raising measures. But the right combination continues to elude lawmakers. Here's John McGinnis with a recap of Baton Rouge politics and this week's political commentary. It has set the course for this legislative session, and it's a collision course. The governor has presented his doomsday budget. It cuts most heavily in the areas guaranteed to provoke the most public outcry. He figures if he can't talk the House into passing taxes, maybe the college students and the deputy sheriffs and the senior citizens can. Conservatives will try to shift the budget cuts to spare higher education and local government and to leave a minimum of taxes to raise. When Senator Darden and I were going through the budget, we pulled things from 40 to 50 different programs in state government. A million dollars here, a million dollars there, it adds up to real money after a while. This would seem to be a cuttable deal. If the governor would agree to rearranging some of the spending reductions, the House could agree to raising some taxes. Trouble is, this governor and this House are like an old married couple who stopped talking to each other a long time ago. Neither side seems to be very open to communication, much less compromise. Take this exchange between the governor and Representative Melissa Flournoy. You couldn't have gotten 15 votes to do that, You couldn't have gotten 15 votes to do that, Melissa. Well, I mean, the point is, it didn't happen. Nobody tried to make it happen. Don't accuse us of not doing it. We didn't even try. Once again, the governor has told the House, it's in your hands. But House members have heard that before, and they expect that they will clash with the governor if they try to substitute their cuts for his. There's no telling how far this game of budget chicken will go, except that it will go on, probably beyond the regular session, and into a special one in June. This is John McGinnis with Inside Louisiana Politics. The legislature returns tomorrow for a hectic day of filing proposed laws before shutting down for a week. Coming up in sports, we'll have the Masters' final round results and the Saints lose a good one to free agency. Hey, have you heard about Roy's Meat Market in Moss Bluff? Louis Roy makes all his own boudin, tasso, and sausage, and he can customize any order just for you. Anything you need, from smoking a turkey or processing deer meat to supplying your next barbecue. Roy's offers a variety of fresh meat packages and home-style plate lunches and tamales are available, too. No order is too big or too small. And don't forget to call us for your catering needs, too. Stop by Roy's Meat Market. Mm -hmm. You'll be glad you did. Keep on rolling, yeah. Once you get a good thing going, why not keep on rolling? And the best way to keep things rolling is to keep working harder. To roll back prices. Roll back, keep on rolling. Look around. There's a lot more that's a lot less at Walmart. Gotta keep on rolling. Roll back America. We never stop rolling back prices. Walmart. Gotta keep on rolling. Always the low price. Always. It's the greatest thing to come along since the wheel. Allied Discount Tires Driver Security Card.
When you buy your tires from Allied Tire, you get eight free services others charge for. Flat repair, tire inspection, rebalancing, tire rotation, front end suspension, shock, brake, and air pressure check. On the road or off the road, Allied Discount Tire and the driver's security card will keep you rolling. Allied Discount Tire, across from Free Ann Lake Mall, Lake Charles. Hey, Southwest Louisiana, Sesame Street Live is coming to the Lake Charles Civic Center Coliseum. Best of all, McDonald's and 7 at Your Service KPLC are hosting Family Night, April 20th at 7 p.m. Tickets are only $6.50. Mark Skirto, the KPLC TV meteorologist, he's going to be there too. Plus, McDonald's is giving away free tickets. Just go by any Lake Area McDonald's for details. It's going to be the best time with all the gang from Sesame Street Live. See you there. Corey, seems like free agency is just murdering the Saints. It's, it's unbelievable. You know, a couple weeks ago, it was Wayne Martin being signed to an offer sheet by the Redskins, and they're losing everybody. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Who's next? That's, I guess that's, that's the question. That's the question. Um, well, a happy Easter for everybody, first off. Now, yesterday, we told you about the Saints' negotiations with Falcons' backup quarterback, Wade Wilson. Well, just as they try and add a player to the team, one of their stars is snatched up. Craig Ironhead Hayward has reportedly agreed to a three-year deal with the Chicago Bears. The 26-year-old will earn $3 million over the next three years. And included in the contract is an additional $200,000 per season if he keeps his weight under control. Hayward has been an integral part of the Saints' backfield for the past few seasons. Well, it was a beautiful afternoon for baseball, and the Rangers took advantage by beating the Boston Red Sox 4-1 in Arlington. Pitcher Kevin Brown came off the disabled list and played pretty well, holding the Red Sox to just five hits in seven and two-thirds inning. But not there, because that's a, that's a long shot by Mo Vaughn, and it's tied at one. To the sixth, Yvonne Rodriguez. Nice shot to center, scores Julio Franco, and it's 2-1 Rangers. Now, check out the mad scramble for the foul ball. Into the stands, watch this guy. He's going for the ball, but look what is going to happen. Face first into the chair. But the lady says, hey, it doesn't matter. I got the ball. Who cares? Now, still sick. Dean Palmer. Watch this defense. Beautiful. Over to first. He gets the out, and the Rangers still in the lead. To the eighth. Dean Palmer does it with his bat. A two-run blast. Boom, get out of here. The Rangers put their record to 4-1 to one with a 4-1 to one victory. Well, to New York now, where the Astros and Mets hooked up for the final game of a three-game series. Chris James, RBI single scores, Craig Biggio, and one nothing Astros. But Eddie Murray comes right back, and he says, not so quick, get out of the yard, two-run shot. But you know what? The Astros still led 5-2. to two. Now, bottom of the eighth, two outs, 5-4 Astros. Vince Coleman, he strikes out. And the Astros sweep the Mets at Chase Stadium for the first time in 10 years. The final, Astros win 5-4. Well, what can you say about Bernhard Langer? The German golf star won his second Masters Championship today with some superior putting and some stiff competition from runner-up Chip Beck. It was this tournament in 1985 that Langer established himself on the golfing circuit as he just seemed to have the touch today. Speaking of touch, look at the shark. Beautiful shot. He's out of contention. Doesn't matter. To the seventh, Chip Beck. Beautiful birdie to go seven under, two behind Langer. Now to the 13th, it was Langer's day. Look at that putt. For the Eagle, he goes to 11 under. He should be happy. Now, to the 16th, I'm telling you folks, you will not believe this shot. It will be in Plays of the Week next Saturday. Brad Fafton from the bunker. Now you can kick back, have some coffee, and watch this one go through the shade. Unbelievable. He's going to go all the way into the cup for the birdie. I still don't believe it as I see it. Now, to the 15th, longer. He was just too much. Look at the concentration. And bingo, into the cup for the birdie. The German star wins his second Masters, goes to 11 under par, four strokes ahead of Chip Beck, and he shared some of his thoughts with us about his victory. I think the, the first one might have been more special, but uh, I, I had to wait a long time to win the second one, so it, it's always very special. Chip is a very good player, so you never know, and uh, I think the, the one on 15 really put the nail in the coffin. It feels great to win the greatest tournament in the world, and uh, especially to win it on Easter Sunday. And I, I got to tell you, Jesse, you know, back to our first story. The Saints, they lose Ironhead, but you know who they should sign? Who? They cut Buford Jordan from McNeese State. They ought to sign him. They got a fullback right there. Be like homegrown. Absolutely. Fine.
So what's right. going to happen to this? I mean, I don't know. You know, they haven't won a playoff game. And growing up in New Orleans, I'm just, come on, say, do something. They're going to pull together. They have to. They have to, Jesse. They just do. Or we'll call them. Or, or you know, suit me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, thanks, Corey. When Nikes returns, Bonnie will have your wake-up weather. And just because you have physical limitations doesn't mean you can't take that big plunge and live life to its fullest. Stay with us. Family after family made State Farm the largest insurer of cars and...